worth going outside just to see the night sky. It's another motor juice station running on him. Let's see. This place is called Puff Duff Bluff. Boom bangs around here. Let's see. Boom job. Show and go, show on. This little fellow feels the world's on the edge of blowing itself up. He feels it's inspiring to see someone out there still banging away at it. Says he makes splody bits of all kinds. High demand these days. Thinks you've built yourself up into a walking arsenal. He can't wait to see what you do with all that gunpowder. Save the world or help it go kaboom! Says that even boom makers can do some good if they make the right things explode. Just think about the tinks you can destroy with earth-shattering kabooms. What happens next depends on what you blow up. Says that life's kind of like a fuse. Sometimes it does just what you expect, and other times it catches you by surprise. Be careful with what you light up. Wonders what you would do to put that bang back in the bomb. When a kaboom hits the world that hard for that long, there's nothing left but a glow in the crater. Wonders why you put so much work into making things safer. He used to shoot birds with the Jagni. 
They're a good bunch to fall in with. Figures maybe you jumped. Either way, you'd make a good match. But enough about you. Says his Muma Grandiosa taught him the secret source of making ammunition. And now that there's an endless need for bangs, business is booming. He was born during the baby boom back in the days, and he was so interested in the family business, he even got nicknamed Boom. He'll take the family secret with him to the grave, which could be any day now, with the world ending and all. Says they really do come in handy for making a point, and a hole too. Of course he doesn't want it, but if the world goes under, he hopes it goes with a bang. But before that, he wants to make the best of the time he's got. Boom says he's always looking for ingredients for ammunition. He has enough sulfur, but he can never get too much charcoal, so if you'll get him some of that, he'll make boom exploding gunpowder just for you. Glad you're willing to bite on that particular bullet. This won't last, so joy the ride. Looks like wholesome, a tidy little cave. Do it on your own. Great view from up here.
You can't really understand your story till it's done. Now that's loot. You hardly ever see those. Keep your eyes peeled and your powder dry. Perhaps now you can see your targets better. A plank place like this is a fire trap. Boom says he's maybe the only one profiting from the way the world is burning. He's happy to put the charcoal from the scorched earth to good use. Boom says his speciality is homemade salt peter, which he makes from a dung mix his friend Moog makes for him. Collecting the various dung that makes up the special Boom Poo blend is an expedition, though, so Moog isn't giving it up for free. 
However, you shouldn't need to part with too much green to buy the brown from Moog for him. Boom promises he'll make it worthwhile. Wishes you'd seen what his Mooma Grandiosa used to make. She set the sky on rainbow fire with her sparkly booms. That you can see clearly now. The dark will never hurt you, not like that. No, you'll find other ways. Mm, sounds like someone's guilty of hurting feelings. Huh, I do not feel guilty about that. Wait, I mean... Boom looks excited. Can't wait to cook up, cook up a batch of special boom sauce ammunition. Boom says that thanks to you, he's got a fresh batch of gunpowder ready to go. He's devoted his life to experimenting with various poo types for his saltpeter. That's how he came up with his special ammunition. And for as long as there's different dung in the mix, you never know what kind of boom candy you're going to end up with. Says it's not his first choice, but you work with what works, right? Boom is happy you're in his face and not some pile of dung. His stuff is the bomb. The only way to clear the nag flies out of here is to jump on those bellows and blow them away. Get hopping. Hard to see too far in the darkness. You blew those flies away. Whoosh! Wants to know what you need to air out.
A solid fixer-upper over there. Wonder if anyone calls it home these days. You need to get the optica controls in order to start it. Excellent. That's illuminating. Now that's quality material. Don't flinch away from this. It's your moment. You need to focus. Oh, that's rare. You're a What a bonus. Grab tight and don't let go. That's a nasty moto mess there. Maybe too gross for anyone else to bump.
A ping dish like that one was good for tracking aerojets and other flying machines. Well placed. There's a lot on the line here. To get the ping dish to work, you need to line up the pong paddles for a proper match. That's a match. Now you can ping all the dishes you like. Spin that paddle to turn the ping dish properly. Pingity ping ping, you found a trans message. Guess you still want more than that. Growl it into a higher gear. This area is 
blazing hot. You'd better have something that'll keep you cool if you're going in. Says it's time to head Vopri Pariknam Begs you to help him out. He's covered in sludge. You do that He can't get it off, and it's making him squick. Can you find a way to get him clean before he dies? Says he was bopping along and slipped into a pool of sludge. Says he figured out what he needs to get clean. See that giant tufa brush up on that tall sign? That would be the perfect scrub brusher. Says he'll do whatever they can. Just hurry. Blinded by the dark, right? I mean, who gets blinded by light? You'd rather hide away in the dark. I get it. Like scary, right? Light shows the truth. People like lies better.
Your destiny waits on the path you'll take to avoid it. Getting swole. This region is known as the Knupstonies. You can't find a harder place in the world. Speedy. There's the big gum brush we need to get that greased up critter clean. Shake it loose. You're here for a reason. It's up to you to figure out what that is. What a scrub -a dub So clean. Welcomes you back. No need to brush this time. Asks how could you run into a world eater and still be walking? Wishes you'd been better as... Welcomes you back. The end is coming to the world, and everything else. Vump is the place to be, obviously.
Says it's bad enough the tree of life is dying. Now monsters are chewing everyone to little bits. Scouts spotted a massive monster coming this way. They're all dead for sure. Should they start digging graves? Or maybe you could meet that monster for them. Reports the scouts spotted it not too far away. Kill. Hopes you can stick around. Don't give up now. That monster should be here soon. Figures if you can manage it, they can manage it too. Let's see. The world is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. A crossway. This means you have a choice to make. Which way? Wheel the control box handles to buzz the wire. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Wired up and Ready to go. Yuck, biohazard, sickening. If a story is about you, care for it.
Oh, it's locked. Looks like some solid wood scrap there. That's the good stuff. Have you been up all night? Want to get your arms swole? Grab those guns flexors and get pumping that iron. Got to time it right to make them work. Left, right, left, right. Pumping good, looking better. The darkness is done for now. That's more than stuck. You should flick the switches in order to green light the current and activate the electrons in the panel. Good. The loop is electrified enough to spark. That's a motored blind box dispenser. These auto markets were quite popular in the long gone for those who had coin left for fun.
get things done before the darkness falls again. Dish. Experts used to find things in the air with those. Wonder if it still works. find some use for rubber scrap. Can't be too many days like this left at the rate the world is ending. To get the ping dish to work, you need to line up the just a few moves left. Make them count. That's a match. Now you can ping all the dishes you like. Spin that paddle to turn the ping dish properly. No pings there, only pongs. Pingity ping ping, you found a trans message. You hit upon rife hitters. There's an upgrade bench up in that little blimp. Let's see.
A good deal all around. Are you ready for swamp time? Look! A spiral groover from the long ago. An apparatus that plays mellow discs. Wouldn't be surprised if it still works. This one's Bang Shelter 6L. Looks like it's still working the way it should. How far underground do you think you are? Good scrap makes top weapons. Can't find better than this. protecting your noggin. Now walk the walk, Pants. Should have gone for a bigger size. Fits you well.
feel that rock breeze blast by. You enjoyed that. The H2O outpost. Hope you don't mind getting your feet wet. Let's see. Sutu paratish, arukida, dura tahakegege. Cautions you that they're aware you're allied to another tribe. Arukida, dura tahakegege. Can't stop to wonder if the rumors about you are true. Darawaso asu shosa. They're cautious of allies here. From what they've heard, you're making quite a name for yourself. They're cautious of allies here. Says word about your work has been getting around. They're cautious of allies here. The doors here are always open for a potential customer. There's no way they'll do that. They're smarter than you think. The story will go on as long as there is someone there to listen. Scrap seems like it would be perfect for your plans. Back on your own two feet. Discovered a frozy brick rack. Wonder what's left inside. Please. 
This won't be a field trip. It's the real thing. Finding things both here and there. The inputters need to be linked to boot the mind monitor. It's mind over matter, software over hardware. Success is peace of mind. Oh, that's perfect. Everything seems to take longer at night. Looks like the Groover's arm needs to be nudged to get the needle in position and hear the mellow disc's message. Just a few moves left, make them count. Some mellow discs just cheap ops to emotion you. This one hums about a needs discovery area, a footprint from here. looks moist.
Gahir, and the daughter, sir. Says, Fill the Gahir, better go come to the zoo. There are places up ahead far worse than this. Let's see. Don't distract this beastie, it's working. Look at those muscles.
had better be. Blistering. A smart foe would leave now. It's a fine way to ride. You found the cluppy dunes, where the sun rises every day and passing lines in the sand means a struggle between life and death. Shelter 11i, right where Toxanol carved it out. Stories keep moving whether you drive them or not.
At least the temp's nice and steady underground. That's a keeper. You look civilized. A stylish cover for your brains. It's not stairs, but it'll do. Built from the finest stuff. You don't have to leave the forest till you're ready. Let's pocket that. Just hold on tight. That's a toxin all zap station. I don't know what that e waste was.
that's interesting. Just flip the switch of the generator to produce superheated glowy air and get on it when the lightning forms. You did good, but the lightning did all the work. Head back to Click to amp up the clonk fist. Just when you think it's darkest, the dawn. That's a massive ping dish. They used to be able to find things.
This is turning out to be quite an expedition. To get the ping dish to work, you need to line up the pong paddle. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That's a match. Now you can ping all the dishes you like. Spin that paddle to turn the ping dish properly. No pings there. Only pongs. No pings there, only pongs. Pingity ping ping, you found a trans message. If you want to spend this whole operation underground for a while, then you're on the spot with Bang Shelter 6D. All sorts of creepy things live down here. Fitchy trigger finger. Super effective. make you look unnaked. Now that's respectable.
looks good. Feel your way through. Ta -ta -ta. Click says your fist is charged and ready to punch a hole through anything that stood in your way in the past. Click's worked out the locks of the world, but still needs to make the keys. He figures he could make a skeleton key, a key that'll unlock any old lock, if only he had a back-in-time bone. He's talking about remains of the dead and gone. And that means a chill down your spine as this bone comes from a particular site, the Gone Forevermore. The shark of the dome thinks you might have unlocked the secret to his plan. Click says you're locked together in fate. Can't understand why you don't just give up on helping things. Says you'll meet again. Click says you're locked. Says you should...